Olawale, good to have you. So as we see these relations, these ties between France and Mali, which have always been complicated, deteriorate more, is there a chance that this is going to backfire on Mali as we see insurgencies and militias around that region, you know, taking part in attacks like what we just saw today in uh, Somalia? Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, it's always going to be a risk um, because uh, France was filling a security vacuum in, in Mali. And if you pull France out, even if things are going to get better, it, that will only happen over the long term. But in the short term, uh, the Wagner, you know, Wagner group is, is new to that terrain. It takes quite a bit of time to understand and get familiar with uh, the nature of that very difficult terrain. So uh, things are always going to get worse, if at all they are going to get better. And we are seeing manifestations of that. Uh, plus, the global dynamics has also changed. Uh, with the war in Ukraine and Russia's own commitment to that, we do know that uh, part of the Wagner group have been pulled out from different parts of the world, including uh, Africa, especially Mali and Libya, to aid uh, Russia's war effort in Ukraine. So, um, you know, the resources that could have gone uh, into supporting Mali, I'm pretty sure some of those resources have been diverted uh, to Ukraine. So things are going to be quite difficult uh, militarily for Mali uh, in the short term. And as Mali gets closer to Russia, what does it stand to gain? What, what is Russia offering that France and others cannot? Um, I think the French, uh, sorry, the Malian government can that would be in the best position to to answer that. But from an analyst point of view, uh, first we are uh, three things are quite important. First is there is a growing anti-French sentiment, uh, fueled largely by uh, frustration among the civilian population about the deteriorating security situation in that region, uh, which is uh, the basis for which France has deployed troops uh, since 2013 in that region. So there is that. Secondly, I think from the Malian government point of view, it needed a new ally, you know, with the military coup and all of that, uh, to be able to uh, uh, reduce the impact of sanctions within and outside of Africa, and also for it to have a supporter in the UN Security Council. So there is that political diplomatic support for the military government in, in Mali. Uh, the third thing to also bear in mind is that uh, uh, in Mali itself. Uh, there is, you know, a conundrum. Uh, they've changed the government, hoping that that can be bring a new lease of life, and the government is searching for solutions. They feel they've tested France's support since 2013, and it has not delivered uh, any reasonable, uh, you know, uh, improvement in security. Perhaps uh, changing you know, Mali with Russia uh, could maybe be a game changer for the government. We don't know whether, you know, this will be successful or not. But even if it's going to be, uh, I'm afraid things are going to deteriorate a lot worse before they picked up uh, uh, in the medium to long term. But uh, that is if at all they pick up. So the, you know, the odds are stuck against uh, the government in Mali, unfortunately. All right, Olawale Ismail, great to have you on our show. Thank you.